Hello friends, I am Prabhjot, your occupational therapist and today I am going to revisit the topic on writer's cramp. You can have a look at my previous video in the cards above. Writer's cramp in short is when your hand is not stable enough to sustain writing which can also be translated to other fine activities like playing musical instruments. So we are going to discuss some exercises that help in developing the stability of your hand. Exercise number one requires a simple grip exerciser in which most of the people exercise this way where one end of the grip exercises is at the palm and the other are the fingers. But we are going to practice it between thumb and the fingers. So for this activity, it is important to keep your elbow and your forearm stable on a surface so that there is no additional challenge proximally or towards the bigger joints of the hand which do not allow your fingers to stabilize. Press, hold, one, two. You thought after two you could not hold any longer. It is okay. So two is your limit for now. Let's continue again. One, two, let go. One, two, let go. So for day one or probably for day two, this is your limit. Once you think for two days or maybe three days you have stabilized your fingers enough, two has become easy for you now, then you can progress to three counts. So keep increasing one count at a time till you reach a maximum of 10 because 10 is a good enough stability between thumb and the fingers. Next, you try to practice the two fingers that are required in writing away from the stabilizing fingers. So just to make you understand, when a person is writing, the thumb and the index and middle finger are the ones that primarily do the work. For some people, it is four fingers. But these two fingers, that is the ring and the little finger, are primarily meant for stability purposes. So we will separate them out. One, two, three, four, five. You will realize this is working better. Let's try to take the other two fingers now. Okay, it's not even pressing anymore. So now you know that it is the stability action which is affected. And this is exactly what we are going to work on today. Stability, increasing that. So try to press as hard as you can. One, two, three, four. Five. So initially you do single counts and then you progress to two at a time. The same activity can also be practiced with individual fingers. So obviously the most common thing that happens is the pen tends to twist. The index finger tends to straighten so the stability is not there. So in that case you can practice with individual fingers primarily for the index and the middle finger. Press, release. Press, release, press, release, press and release. Elastic bands, they are an excellent source of exercise for stability of the hand. So in order to practice that, start with a single loop. Practice pulling between thumb and each finger. Then between two fingers, and eventually the final exercise that you are supposed to do is hold it between the two fingers of the hand that you do not write with, place your hand down, and try to pull it up with each finger. One, two, three four, five, let go. Next finger. One, two, three, four, five. While doing this exercise, make sure your wrist is touching the surface. Next finger. One, two, three, four, five. And finally, the last finger. One, 
two, three, four, five. But that's not all because you need to do the same exercise in the opposite direction as well. One, two, three, four, five. 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 It is important that both side movements, that is flexion and extension of the fingers, is practiced using elastic bands. I love coins when it comes to the hand because with coins you can practice multiple things. First, for example, simply flipping all the coins. One, two, three, four. If you observed, I used different finger each time. One, two, three. Four. This shows how much stability you have in each finger. The next you can try to do is hold the coin between the tips of the thumb and each finger and see how stable you can keep it. While doing this, either you can keep your hand this way with elbow supported or better do it with your full forearm supported. Take it to as many counts as possible till your hand you think starts to shake or you're not able to stabilize it anymore. It is slipping out of your hand. Move to the next finger. Next. And the little finger. Now there is another question here. Should we keep our hand this way, this way or this way? The ideal position is sideways because it puts minimum challenge on the wrist. Because if you keep it this way, your wrist will come up automatically, which may put these muscles at a disadvantage, the muscles that are supposed to flex. If you put it this way, then it will put extra strain on your wrist at the back. So it's better to keep it in the middle. Next stability exercise can be try to pull it in and out. So between the pad to the tip. Practice it with each finger. You might find it is more difficult with the ring and the little finger. If you feel it is slipping out, you cannot hold it. It means that you need more stability here. I hope this video was informative for you. If yes, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more videos related to tremors, writer's cramp and other topics related to neuro rehabilitation. Ring the bell icon for notifications when my videos are out and do add any queries or suggestions in the comments below. We'll meet again soon. Bye.